Hello everyone, welcome to Art and Design. My name is Thorker and today we're going to be checking out the animation tools in the Procreate 5 closed beta. Let's dive right into it. Okay, so first things first, uh, let me just preface this video by saying I am not an animator. So the animations that I'm going to be showing in this video are not going to be anywhere close to what some of you are able to create. But I'm just here to sort of show you the uh, functionality and the features that will be integrated into this version. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and enable the animation assist. And that's done by clicking on the wrench, prefs and animation assist. Once we do that, we have the contextual controls at the bottom right here, where we're able to play from the timeline. This is the timeline right here. Currently, we don't have any uh, any layers. Here we can create a new layer, and here we have the settings. Now, in the settings, we can uh, specify how many frames per second we want the animation to be. And that's going to dictate how smooth the animation is going to look, and also how basically how quickly the animation will take to complete. Now onion skin frames, this is basically going to dictate how many of the underlying layers you're going to see. And we'll see all of these functionality in action uh, as the video progresses. And this is the skin opacity of the onion layers. Now blend primary frame, uh, well the only way to sort of explain this is by demonstrating. So let me just draw something quick like this. And let's create a new layer and draw something like that. And now once we tap on the blend primary frame, we can see it just sort of blends the frame that is in the foreground, the one that you're drawing on with the underlying layer. So maybe some of you can let me know in the comments down below what the use case for this sort of functionality is. If we put this to one shot, it basically just plays it from beginning to end and then it stops like so. If you put it to loop, then it'll go from the first to the last and just loop like this. If we go ping pong, then it goes from the start to the end and then back to the start, like so. Now there was a comment on my last video asking about if you could insert a frame between uh, two frames, like uh, here we have layer two and three. Can I insert a new frame in between? So if I have layer two selected and I create a new one, then we can see, yes, indeed, it does create a frame between them. So now I can make a frame like this, and then we have an in-between frame. And uh, in the last video, we also covered that uh, you can, in fact, erase whatever is on this layer and just sort of redraw it like so. Just really, really quickly make changes. And I guess this just speeds up the workflow of um, working out the kinks in the animation. So that's all really, really cool. But I think there's a little bit too much going on right here. I can see a little bit too many layers at once. So I want to limit this down and have, let's say, one or two. Let's go with two and the opacity. Let's bring it down just a little bit, just so that I can focus on the layer that I'm drawing on. Okay, so now that I have everything set up the way I want it, I'm going to go ahead and create the setting, basically. So I'm going to go ahead and create some background and some foreground objects uh, that I'm going to be using in the animation. So basically, if you want to have something in the foreground, like, I don't know, like a light post or something like that, you can sort of just create a new layer, create the lamp post, um, shining light, and we want this to be in front of the animation at all times. So the way we do that is simply tap on it, animation foreground. And then we can go ahead and create animation background as well. So maybe something like this. And then we tap on this and make this the animation background. So this is always going to be the background. This is always going to be the foreground. And what this allows us to do is basically create an animation using the layers we have right here that we drew earlier and uh, the rest isn't really changing. This is always going to be in front and this is always going to be in back. 
Okay, so here's something really cool. Let's say that you have this object right here and you want to create a duplicate of that. You want to use this object and maybe change it just a little bit in the next frame. Uh, one way of doing that would be simply duplicating it like so and then maybe move it down and then you can see we have a sort of animation. But the beautiful thing that they added in this update is the ability to simply tap and hold on this icon right here. And that's gonna create a duplicate of this layer. So if I tap and hold, and there we go. Now I can just simply drag it down, tap and hold, duplicate. Tap and hold. That is absolutely fantastic. Okay, so working with this technique, uh, using the duplicate uh, functionality, we can start doing some interesting stuff. So let's make a new layer. Um, and let's just go ahead and uh, make a selection Oops. like so, just something like this. And uh, let's fill it in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate it like so. And uh, I'm going to go into the warp tool. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag on this one right here. Duplicate. So as you can see, the only thing that I did really was duplicate the previous layer and then transform it, just sort of warp it a little bit. And if we play this back, we can see this weird effect going on. Yeah, it looks, <laughs> looks kind of interesting. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make some sort of animation. Uh, let's say 10 minutes. I'm going to work on an animation for 10 minutes. and Let's see what I can do in those 10 minutes. Okay, so admittedly, I went a little bit over 10 minutes, but uh, yeah, it's really fun. It's really, really fun to work with, uh, having the liquefying tool and having the transform tool, the warp tool, and all that just, it's just an enjoyable experience. I've never, ever gotten into animation before. It's always been something that I've sort of had an interest for, but never really gotten into it. Maybe I didn't have the right tool for the job, but Procreate has absolutely sparked an interest for me here definitely gonna be doing something more with this i want to thank you all very much for watching please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already like the video if you liked it and uh, you can also go ahead and check out artanddesign.tv store uh, we have some 
merchandise and artworks that you can apply to phone cases or t-shirts and all sorts of stuff. Um, but otherwise, thank you all very much for watching. Here's the animation. Uh, have an awesome day. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.